Hey YouTubers, Steven here. Okay, another wine cooler experiment. Um, been talking to some people, they were thinking, hey, let's use turbo yeast. Uh, I don't know of anybody that's done it yet, but we're going to today. Um, we're also going to go a little crazy, a little absurd, maybe a little insane. Well, there we go, insane. Um, I've got Fruitopia Strawberry Passion, so there's their title. Insane Strawberry Passion Wine Coolers. Because you guessed it. Since we're using turbo yeast, let's really bump up the alcohol. So I was thinking, <clears throat> since it's turbo yeast, um, I should be able to get around 18 to 20 percent, according to the package. Um, so let's move the camera and uh, let's start making some. All right, so we get our bowl here on our scale. Now I'm just using regular old table sugar, and it's two kilograms in the package. So when they worked it out, 12 liters, because that's what I need for one flavor, uh, tells me I need 3,600 grams, or 3.6 kilograms. So here's two. Now we just need another 1.6 kilograms. So we'll get our scale on, we'll get it zeroed out. <clears throat> and let's change the units from grams to kilograms. And up we go. It's probably going to be most of the package since it, well, I guess I could have taken out 400 grams and been right on. Probably would have taken up a lot less space than this bowl is taking up for sugar right now. Can I do it? Can I do it? Maybe I'll stop at 1200. Yeah. I'll stop at uh, 1.2 kilograms and then I'm just going to have to figure out. I'll dump it and uh, we'll put another 400 kilograms in. Or 400 grams. Oh my goodness. 400 kilograms. Can you imagine the alcohol content in that? <laughs> Three. Oops. Slightly over. 414 grams, but hey. It's all good. Alright, let's get some water in this bad boy. Alright, so I've got 10 liters of warm water. And I say warm, I didn't make it too, too hot, you know. It's probably a little warmer than room temperature. And another two liters. Makes 12. I learned how to count in elementary school. Are you impressed? <laughs> All right, now, I'm gonna go crazy with some yeast nutrient. Um, just because. So I'm gonna put in three half teaspoons because that's what the instructions say. It says half a teaspoon per gallon but you know what just because I'm insane in the membrane oh good song insane in the membrane anywho now you're gonna be thinking that song all day sorry <laughs> insane in the membrane all right, let's get our other two kilograms of sugar in here. We'll get this bad boy all stirred up. Ah, oh, the garbage can. What a shot. 
Should have played basketball when I was younger. Really, I'm not that good. That's why I didn't play. Alright, we'll get this all stirred up nice. And we're going to keep stirring until we don't hear the, the sugar on the bottom anymore. We'll let this settle for 20-30 seconds and then we'll check to make sure that there's no sugar sitting on the bottom. So I'll we'll be right back. Alright, so sounds like it's all dissolved. Yeehaw! Alright. Where's the spoon? Now, this is turbo yeast. Looks like a prescription bottle because it is. But uh, I didn't have any little baggies when I did my dark rum experiment, so you know what? I just washed it out, sterilized it, dried it, put the rest of the turbo yeast in it. Because I was waiting for a good excuse like this. And I'm going to put the rest of the turbo yeast in. Smells yeasty. Ah, oh, shoot! I forgot to do a hydrometer test. Where are we at? Alright. That was just a quick little test. Hopefully the... I don't think the yeast would have affected it too much, but it came out at... Um, uh, 1.110, I'm going to say. Uh, I'm not going to try and be too accurate with it. So, basically, it come out close to what the dark rum did. Um, the dark rum was 1.145. So, we'll, uh, we'll just count it as 1.10 something. Either way, it's going to be potent. Um, basically what I factored in was uh, about 300 grams of sugar per liter like I did with the dark rum. So this should still come out around um, you know 17 18 percent if it ferments out like the uh, the dark rum did. So let's get our airlock on here. I got a little sanitizer in my airlock and uh, we'll get this bad boy downstairs, fermenting, and uh, we'll come back for the taste test. Alright, done. Alright everybody, I have the Insane Strawberry Passion bottled. That's a beautiful color, light reddish. <laughs> anyway, oh. Well, I uh, got quite a few out of this batch. I even bottled a, a nice big bottle for Jake to try. I'll probably give him a couple of smaller bottles. Him and Dar are coming over from Jake and Dar. They're coming over for coffee and a little visit. But I did save some here for a taste review. Uh, I was actually quite surprised. Uh, earlier in the video I mentioned that um, my starting gravity was 1.110. It fermented out to 0 0.90. Um, so it, it fermented out completely. Um, when you figure it out, according to Q Brew, that's 27% alcohol ABV. This is potent, potent stuff. Now, before I mixed in the juice, I took a little drink and, and let me tell you, it's got some kick. So let, let's see what it tastes like with the, uh, with the strawberry passion juice in it. It's good. 
a nice strawberry, got a little kick there. Uh, the juice is enough to calm it down a little bit, but uh, now I'm starting to feel the, the warming sensation. You know when you have something with really high alcohol, you get that nice warming sensation? Well, I think these are really going to put me on my ass. Oh wow, that is fantastic. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, big shout out to uh, Big CQ. I'll, um, I'll put a link to his channel and in, uh, in my more info. He's a fellow home brewer over in the UK. Uh, he actually did the uh, wine cooler experiment up to 20%, or at least he was aiming for 20% with the turbo yeast. Uh, from my recipe. Thanks for sharing that, uh, CQ. And um, I'm going to actually probably do this as a video reply as well onto your video, just so that you know we can share some subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, if you've never watched CQ, uh, he's a truly funny guy. Uh, I enjoy watching his videos and my dogs just started to bark so I think Jake and Dara are here so I gotta cut this off. Thanks for watching everybody, have a great day and uh, we'll see you next time.